Here I am, Borman, Van Rook Borman after three weeks now, I've nearly got on top of the job. So, so one of my jobs is to clean the troughs that the cows drink out of. This one's, the water's actually pretty dirty, but there's a lot of dirt and stuff in it. And there's often a lot of bones in there. I don't know what sort of bones they are, but this one had a little skull. And over here are all, all these guys waiting to, to drink the water. Hey guys, nearly ready. I think these are joiners or something. They all look a little bit lost. They're not too big. But they're all just standing around watching me. I've just um, found a dead cow by the trough and my job's to put a chain around its leg and drag it away from the trough. I dragged this cow away and all these other cows followed me. I don't know what they're wanting to do. Go away guys! You don't want to come here. There's one of your buddies here is carked it. Go away. Go back to the trough. This is not, this is not a cow pad, this is a bloody road. This is a road for land cruisers, not a one for cows. Move over. There's bloody cows. I think there might be joiners or, I don't think they're wieners. I think they're joiners and won't get off the bloody road. I don't even have a horn, this thing. Come on. Move off the road. I've got to get to work. I've got dams to fill, troughs to clean, pumps to service, now that's it, get over there, that's much better, thanks, bye, have a good day. So fortunate to be out here, you know, so fortunate, just to do something totally new, you know, physical exercise, it just makes me feel fantastic. Yesterday was Charlotte's birthday. Charlotte's a French backpacker. She was the cleaner and the gardener, and just a sort of a general hack. Anyway, it was her birthday yesterday. I think she was 26. And they're flying in the jet to Cairns. Lucy, who's the cook's girlfriend and the general manager. So Dave, who's the, um, the jet pilot, flying up the cans for the day just to sort of go to lunch for Charlotte's birthday. So, you know, every day something new happens and it's just, this place is crazy. I'm out here, it's around 12 o'clock, 11.30. It's 11.30, it's getting hot. It gets pretty hot and I'm at one of the, the dams, the nest called Fridays. And I'll show you what's here. So Fridays has this little paddock with a couple of hundred bulls, all greys, who are just hanging around. These are guys have got to be, I don't know, a thousand kilograms maybe. 
guys. Hey guys, I'm here to clean your trough. Because I know you don't do much. I know you just like hang around. There's not much to eat. I don't know what you're doing here. There's nothing to eat. So I'm going to make sure you got a nice clean trough. And the trough, I've just drained it. There's a plug here that I drain. And you can see it's not a very big one. It's an old concrete one. It's got a lot of green shit in it, a lot of dirt in it, so I'm going to clean it out. I'm going to give you a nice clean trough, guys, so you get the nice clean water, okay? So you just need to give a little bit of time. Using this brush thing here, I've scooped out, I don't know, a lot of the mud. And they're still waiting, so now I'm going to let the water in and try and wash out the rest of it. Hey, guys! It's ready. Trough's nice and clean. Come and get it. Just filling up here. It's a little bit dirty, but that's just because that's the board in the dam. But it's really yummy. So I'm going to jump in the truck and drive away, and you can come and get and drink as much as you like. Here we go. It's all theirs. Off to the trough. Having a good drink. There's an emu and two chicks. Yeah, it's actually a track you can see the cows make to go down to the Gilbert to drink. Down here in the mud, it's a bit of a find. Because look, there's a... Got something happening here today. Normally I'm always out by myself, but I was sort of heading off to uh, up to do December and they're um, they're mustering so these are the contract musterers in the in the four-wheeler morning, morning how you doing there yeah so they're just slowly moving the cattle from one paddock to another we've got a little musterer here following up the back how you doing Having fun? So one of the cow just got away and it ran back up the road, so maybe I should do some mustering here. So it looks like I'm mustering now because the four-wheeler has gone to get that other cow. We've got the cow chasing it back. The boss. Now it's 1.30 in the afternoon and I'm heading down to Jensen's. And there's no clouds in the sky. It's pretty hot out there actually. This is the northern run. And there's quite a bit of feed around but it's um there's no cows because there's not much water around here. There's no dams or anything. And um, as you can see it's really starting to dry up. This is Phil, finally found his, his calling in life. They're all waiting here for Phil to finish his work. And they, I can actually hear them saying, please hurry up, we want a drink. This is one of the best jobs on the farm. <laughs> now with the gum boots, are they a tax deduction for you? <laughs> they are, they are. They are. <laughs> oh, good. There'll be a tax deduction exactly, so. Hmm. From Bunnings. Wow. Now down here there's supposed to be crocs. So instead of driving with the car, supposedly just to scare them, I'm going to walk down. According to Tom. 
soon as you come down here they're in the the Van Rook Creek and they'll be scampering away but I don't know I think they're just telling me stories drop bears and things supposedly on the right here there's a little pond which is drying up there's supposed to be crocs in there oh oh yes hmm he's right Crocs love the murky water. There's one just down there. See its nose just sticking out. There's one there. There's one up there. Two up there. Three. Or four, five. Wow, there are lots in here. I count six in there now. I don't think we want to go swimming in here. I've counted 11 crocs in there now. Now that I've just stayed here quietly, they've all just popped to the surface. Wow, there's a pretty spooky place here with all these crocs around. There's about 20. Lots and lots of crocodiles.